Welcome back to Quantify Your Career. This is Hitiksha and today we'll be talking about quantitative finance project ideas. So if you're pursuing a career in quantitative finance or thinking about pursuing one through a master's program or self-study or even a PhD program, you know how important it is to apply whatever you learn. So knowing Python, R, C++ and even mathematical concepts isn't enough. You need to showcase your skills through hands-on projects. I feel you understand a concept better when you actually implement it. For example, you've read a book or a learned topic or finished some course on a theoretical topic. Once you implement that concept to solve a real world problem, that is how you will solidify your learning. So implementing these hands-on problems and projects will help showcase your critical thinking and even technical skills to potential recruiters and clients. So in this video, I'll be going through some project ideas which you can easily implement and showcase to stand out in your interviews and applications, even to master's programs. So I'll be covering some basic project ideas, simpler project ideas, and some advanced project ideas. And these are all derived from my coursework, research papers, and even books. Let's start with a simple portfolio optimization project. This project I think I had first implemented in my MBA program. So this project uses modern portfolio theory to determine optimal asset allocation for a portfolio based on risk and return. So you can implement mean variance optimization using Markowitz framework, which aims to balance portfolio's risk while maximizing its returns. To build this project, you can use real market data, say stock prices, and compute expected returns, covariance matrix, and risk adjusted returns. Using libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, you can perform the optimization and visualize the efficient frontier, which shows the best possible portfolio combinations. And if you want to take it a step further, you can incorporate models like Black Litterman for more accurate estimates or even explore factor investing. This project will not only showcase your knowledge of financial concepts, but also your ability to work with Python for data analysis and optimization. Now, a little more advanced level project could be time series analysis for yield curve forecasting. This was based on some research papers I had read. To forecast the yield curve, we can first collect and pre-process data from sources like Fred or Bloomberg or even US Treasury website, ensuring it is clean and structured for analysis. Next, we can apply different modeling approaches like vector autoregression, which captures relationships between interest rates at different maturities, Nelson Siegel model, which fits a smooth curve and forecasts its components, and LSTM long short term memory. These networks can leverage deep learning to detect complex patterns. Once this is trained, these models are evaluated using accuracy metrics like mean absolute error, root mean squared error to ensure reliable predictions. So the goal of this project is not just to forecast these rates, it is also to make actionable decisions. By mastering these techniques, you will develop expertise in time series analysis, fixed income modeling, and quantitative finance applications. Now for those who really want to dig deeper into academic finance and prove their analytical shops, I recommend replicating a quant finance research paper. This project is about selecting a well-known research paper in quant finance and replicating its key findings. Programs like Masters in Financial Engineering, Financial Mathematics, all of these encourage you to do this. So let's say you chose a paper on Pharma French Factor Model or Risk Neutral Pricing and Hedging of Derivatives. So you, what you'll do is you'll collect the same data the paper uses or simulate your own data set reproduce the formulas and models and see if you can match the original results. The great thing about this project is that it sharpens your research and programming skills. It helps you understand cutting edge financial theories and proves to potential employers that not only you can read academic papers, but also implement them. Now, if you're looking to push yourself further, you can try to improve on the paper's methodology and even suggest avenues for research. These projects not only look impressive on your CV resume, but it also gives you the opportunity to contribute to the academic body of work in quantitative finance. 
For those interested in derivatives trading or market making, volatility surface modeling is another highly relevant project. In this project, you'll collect implied volatility data from options markets and use it to construct a volatility surface. You'll apply interpolation techniques like cubic splines to smooth the surface and model volatility dynamics with models like Heston or SABR. You can also get a chance to use advanced statistical tools in Python and even explore deep learning techniques to forecast volatility. Now, these were just a few projects. If you're applying for quant roles, having a well-structured portfolio of projects can be a game changer. But finding the right projects and resources can get overwhelming. So I've put together a list of project ideas in a reference handbook to make it all easy for you. It has project overview, ideas on how you can build projects, the libraries you can use, blogs, courses, papers you can reference, and how the project will be useful. Find it in the description below. It has about 15 project ideas which you can implement. So once you've completed these projects, the next step is to showcase them. Don't just leave them on your laptop. You can upload your work to GitHub or your personal blog. This way, potential employers or clients can see your thought process behind your code, the methodology you used, and the results you obtained. It's not just about showing you can code, it's about showing you can think critically and apply financial theory to solve real world problems. And if you're applying for internships, graduate programs, or full-time roles, these projects make excellent portfolio pieces. They demonstrate your technical skills, ability to solve complex problems, and your understanding of key quantitative finance projects. I hope you find this video and handbook helpful. Until next time.